Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, gonna make some fantastic lamb chops today for the barbecue in a kind of Middle Eastern Arabic style. So let me just run through some ingredients. At the back here, I've got some salt. This is one teaspoon. I've got some cumin powder, one teaspoon. Turmeric, one teaspoon. Garlic and ginger paste, one teaspoon. Chili powder, one teaspoon. Black lemon powder, which is really the predominant flavor here, one teaspoon. We've got some ground black pepper there, fairly coarse, one teaspoon. White sugar, two teaspoons. I've got a couple of limes here, which I'm gonna squeeze on as well. You could use fresh lemon if you wanted. I'm gonna add some olive oil, a little touch of chopped onion, and of course our lamb chops, and I've got here about, as you can see there, I've got about 10 or 12 pieces there. That's enough to do these. Let's get on with that. Okay, so get yourself a nice mixing bowl. I've got some nice chops in there, nice bit of fat on them still. Beautiful, really happy with those ones. This is so simple, all we're gonna do is go in with that salt. One teaspoon, that sugar. Two or three teaspoons, up to you. Black pepper, one teaspoon. Black lemon powder, one teaspoon. Cumin powder, one teaspoon. Turmeric or haldi, which give me a nice color as well, one teaspoon. Chili powder, one teaspoon, but up to you. Use more if you want. That garlic ginger paste, which is 50-50. Fresh ginger and garlic chopped up. That lime or lemon and throw them in as well because we're gonna leave these for a few hours. So these limes can still work a little bit of magic for us. Lemon's good as well, but I think lime works really nice on this one. So in they go. Now, some olive oil. Not a great deal, I mean, I'm just need enough to kind of moisten these up. And then just a little bit of chopped onion. And I give it a nice flavor. Now, no simple way to do this. You've got to use your hands, make sure they're clean, get them in, and just throw them around. So all of that mixture gets all over. All of our beautiful lamb. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this put this in our refrigerator. You need to leave this for at least four hours, at least. I mean, I'm gonna leave these overnight. They are for my barbecue, but you could do these on a dry skillet if you wanted, entirely up to you inside your house. So that's it, they're gonna look fantastic tomorrow. They're gonna to taste great. They're gonna be bursting with flavors. They're gonna go onto my grill. It's that simple. See you later.